All right, guys, it is time for a best of five showdown between Professor Pwn and Black Iron Battles. So I logged on today, I was doing some, uh, I was doing some recordings and you know, I heard there was a little bit of a beef in the street between Prof Pwn and Black Iron. So, you know, they had some, uh, they had some, some stuff to settle. So we're gonna do it here on the field of battle on the channel and it is gonna be a good time for all. So first game, it's gonna be Beastmen versus Warriors of Chaos, which is a, it's a pretty good matchup. I mean, the Beastmen can bring, there's a bunch of different builds. You can go with the Minotaurs with Great Weapons, Centigors, you can use Throwing Axes and play a more kind of a Kaidi build. There's a lot of ways to play it, so it's gonna be fun. Looks like Prof Pwn is gonna be trying to contest the front line, probably with Lore of Shadows or Death, I would assume, with those Bestigors. And he also does have a couple Raiders, and I would assume the Raiders are just there to kind of uh, screen out against, uh, you know, Marauder Horsemen and things like that. So um, DJ Turin was going to sling us another hot royalty for Jack, but uh, no, not today. You know what? So the songs I play before my streams are actually, uh, they're royalty-free songs that you can get from the uh, YouTube Music Library, and most of them are pretty bad, but honestly, that one, I feel that was on the better end of things. You know, that was, that was, that one was not terrible, all things considered. <laughs> if Prof Phone, if Prof Phone gets to 100 subs, he'll make an, a new playlist of music, says the Gabo King. Oh, man. Money's on the beast, man. So um, Professor Pwn was my partner for the last uh, 2v2 tournament that we played in. So you guys probably uh, saw him on there and pretty regular in the Blood Bowl games that you guys see on my channel. And uh, Black Iron Battles, of course, is the commissioner of our Blood Bowl League and also a very avid Greenskin player. And of course, his channel is Black Iron Battles. So, um, so yeah, we're ready to party. Ready to party. <laughs> did. That's so funny. He knew I was gonna open. He knew I was gonna open chat, so he had it ready. youtubecom slash battles Oh man, yeah, yeah. It's, it's very true, Plessy, for sure. My my entire family are uh, are musicians and actors and artists for the most part. So I hear you on that. And we are here with game one on the Pillar of Bone, which is actually I think one of the more well balanced maps in the game. It has has good terrain, it has, uh, you know, places to hide. It's it's just a solid map in my opinion, so. So yeah, big thanks for all of you guys for joining today. I know it's a little bit out of the blue. My day has been very good, Mason. Thank you for asking. Thank you for asking. All right, game one, Pillar of Bone. So yeah, Beast might have some pretty good Vanguard options. Uh, Chaos obviously isn't as heavy in the Vanguard game. They do have like Marauder Horsemen and stuff, but it, it's a little too dangerous against Beastmen. They're too quick and they have so many fast calf. They can really chase down Marauder Horsemen with, uh, with relative impunity. Yes, and yes, make sure to to do the business to that like button. I'll be doing my own stream in the next couple days where I play some quick battles. Uh, just kind of resting the hands and trying to get... Uh, I've been really busy with a bunch of uh, paperwork and tax. It's like finishing taxes and all that stuff. So, so yeah, this is nice, though, because it doesn't really tax my hands and stuff. And, you know, I can just sit and we can have some fun together, boys. Uh, yeah, pillar of bone. <laughs> pillar of bone, that's what she said. I'll show you my pillar of bone. <laughs> yes. You sit on a throne of lies. The Pillar of Pwn, I like that, that's good, that's good. Who's the potato culprit today? And it looks like they're loaded in, so I'm excited to see what the Chaos Army looks like, because typically I like to use Shagus. I usually bring like Kolak, a second Shagus, and a Deathcaster, and then you just try and like monster mash the front line and then force them to come in and you know engage you on your terms. Ooh, and I do like this, he actually has, a, I think, a Deathcaster on a Wyvern, so that's gonna be cool, so he has you know, some more pressure up in the air. For his mainstay army, though, it looks like Chaos Marauders, a combination of both. So he has some great weapons, which will do okay against Bestigors. They'll obviously lose, but they will put a dent in them. Some standard Chaos Warriors in the back, so not going with the great weapon variant. Granted, a lot of Beastmen players uh, will go, you know, fairly low tier on their infantry and use Minotaurs and things like that. So Black Iron Battle's playing a little bit safe here. He does have a Chosen with Halberds in the back line, which will be pretty tough to take out for sure. Unless Professor Pwn has a Deathcaster, and he does. He has Fate of Bunis. So Fate of Bunis is just going to pretty much one-shot these guys if he's paying attention. Um, two groups of Standard Chosen on either side, and they won't trade well with the Bestigors. I mean, they, they'll. I'm pretty sure they would win just because their stats are so much better, but it's still not going to kill them as quickly as a great open variant. Granted, their melee defense is 60, so we'll see how that goes. Deathcaster up in there for uh, Black Iron Battles. Looks like Fate of Bunis Spirit Leech, so this is going to be some Lore of Death action. And it uh, looks like Black Iron is going to be trying to contest the mobility game. Some Rotter Horsemen with Throwing Axes. Which, if he can dominate and deal with Professor Pwn's kind of a, a calf pressure from those Centigors, could be pretty good. But I feel like these guys are just going to get swarmed over. Centigors are so fast. Uh, once they're uh, passive, I think, it puts them up to like 95 speed, give or take, against the 90 of these guys. And the Beastmen definitely have the advantage in that category. Granted, Kolek is going to be scary. I mean, Kolek is such a powerful lord. And honestly, one or two good Fate Abunas on this front line could probably crack it open for Chaos, I think. Especially with Kolek. He's just, he's such a world beater. Uh, the Minos with great weapons... 
a lot of that, they're a tough one to make work. You really, it's hard to get on those targets you want because Colette can just hide amongst his chosen and other troops like that. So we'll see how it goes. Hey guys, how's it going? Greetings, uh, my friend from Poland. Yeah, there's going to be all kinds of tournaments coming up in the near future, guys, so stay tuned. All right, onto the game. So right now you can see that Black Iron Battles is going to be getting his Marauder Horsemen coming up and around the flank, but I don't know if he saw Professor Pone's forces over here. These Centaurs with the Great Weapons are just going to do the dirty. Ooh, this could be really rough for Black Iron Battles. Uh, immediately getting a Spirit Leash on Morker, which is, I don't know if that's worth it because he regenerates pretty quick. would rather maybe use a Fate Buna or something. But the Chaos Warriors in the front line are going to engage with the uh, Vestibor Herds and yeah, you can see a ton of shock damage coming in, just getting buckled. And Kolek definitely needs to get in there and, you know, get some of that ass. In the meantime, though, uh, a very rough engagement from Black Iron Battles on the flank. You can see the uh, Centaurs of Professor Pone immediately netting some massive value here. So that's going to be tough. A very good Lord of the Storm going down from Black Iron, really melting those Ungor Raiders. But, you know, the Marauder Horsemen need to just, you know, these ones need to, like, beeline up and through this gap. In the flanks, you can see that Professor Pone is getting around the back with his Centaurs with Great Weapons. Maybe looking for some stalking units or some archers or things like that, but I think they're just kind of, yeah, well, not archers, obviously, but yeah, I guess Chaos doesn't have stalking, so I don't know. Maybe they're just getting ready to do a rear charge, and honestly, if they do a rear charge and just start cleaning up these Chaos Marauders and whatnot, that could be pretty nasty. So Kolek right now is fighting against the Minotaurs with great weapons. He's definitely going to need some infantry support. The best scores here do get terrified because their frenzy did a, uh, man, Kolek is just whooping on these guys. And a very good fate of being also going down from Professor Pone. But, uh, you know, the Manticore is actually going to be chasing. And this is pretty good use of the Chaos Manticore, but Forbidden Rod does a ton of damage to targets. Oh, this this is really rough. So Black Iron Battles gets a little bit overzealous here with his uh, caster. So you can see the Chaos Sorcerer of Death does push in here. Still trying to goon out the Professor Pwn caster of Death. But, you know, Professor Pwn can easily grab these Hounds and Centigors, and this Manticore will be 100% dead. Uh, the Beastmen have one of the best anti-air goon squads, and you can see the Bounce of Power is so heavily in favor of Professor Pwn right now. Uh, you know, Kolek's just, he's getting that booty, he's getting that booty slapped right now. And you can see that Kolek here is just getting Spirit Leeched. Minotaurs with great weapons are just giving him the business. And Professor Pwn's Cav play, being able to pin down those Marauder Horsemen in Black Iron, not seeing that over there, I think was just uh, too much to come back from. And, you know, of course, the Chaos Spawns are here, and they're going to help. The Chosen will fight. You can see they're going to fight to the bitter end, but they racked up 11 kills, and the Chaos Spawn should be able to monster mash them as the best of wars in company do clean up this is the first game in the uh, best of five guys and that's going to be it so professor pone with a crushing victory in the first game that was like a three minute battle that was that was real solid and i think his uh, mo mobile play like using his centigors and his hounds to really punish the throwing axes which are one of black iron's only like solid ap options aside from colec was uh was very solid so that's game one boys yeah 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 so let's go ahead and talk to the boys and we'll see I'm gonna jump over to Discord and we will uh, we'll talk to them, see what's going on. All right, guys, that was that was quite a battle. So, Professor Pone, <laughs> what uh, what what dank tactics did you employ to get that W there? Well, he predicted me bringing an all forest dragon, so I mixed it up. <laughs> all forest dragon? What? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. If you weren't there, you missed it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I was like, great weapons are pretty cool against chaos, so that's what I tried out, and it looks like it worked. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, his his mobile force caught me caught me by surprise and took out my mobile force like handily. You know, I f I figured Black isn't the kind of guy to bring that small just all chosen build. So I was like, if he's got one or two chosen, uh, Fate of Buna will be good. And I managed to nuke out his halberds. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And the freaking uh, yeah, getting those throwing axes caught in the beginning too is very tough because you know that was two throwing axes plus some hounds that was gone, and that's about you know fifteen hundred gold right away just right. Being, being dumpstered by these uh by the center course. but it was a good catch it was a good catch yeah. black iron what went wrong brother what was the yeah what was the, what no, was the I, downfall? Really, I really got yeah i got caught out and then and actually Kolak went down a lot easier than i thought he would to those you know cars and best word that was surrounding him so yeah I, I figured i would be able to take his caster out with my caster i couldn't catch his caster so it kind of you know the the few plans i did have didn't work out and then plus that that mobile uh group catching me from behind that's what she said. Yeah, absolutely. You know, didn't work out. Yeah, the mobile mobile yeah, force just ran me from behind. You know? <laughs> <laughs> just got me good. Yep, it's Monday, all right. <laughs> all right. Well, perfect. And we are on to game two. You guys already changed the map. We're gonna get Skaven versus Dwarves, I think. So that's gonna it's gonna be a good one. All right. Well, good luck yeah, to you dude. guys. All right. And uh, okay. you guys got any smack talk for each other before I go? Or 
Oh man, I can't. I can't talk anything after that <laughs> right, last battle, man. We'll save it. We'll save I'm it for gonna later. take a crap on Black Iron, wipe them yeah. off, and then take a crap on them again. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do it. All right, guys, you've heard it. that was actually some really good shit talk. Oh man. Whew. Yes, guys. So we're gonna get dwarves versus uh, versus Gaven. So this is this is a pretty even matchup, I would say. The dwarves can do pretty well here. Dwarven infantry really just destroy this Gaven. But you need to be... It's a bit of a finesse game. You need to get some really good Tormentor Swords, be able to take out some of the Doom Wheels and things like that. And, uh... Yeah, and that's pretty much it. When are you and Italian Spartacus? Uh, Dan, we're gonna... We're probably gonna do that when I get back from Poland. I'm pretty busy the next couple weeks, so... Yeah. Uh, no, I actually haven't gotten a haircut. It's uh, the same. I just... I just... Just the, how I woke up today was, was this. Was this kind of... This deal here, so... The trash talk. Yeah. So you can see Professor Pwn is actually going to be going with a, a very heavy artillery build. So he's going to be having two play claw catapults. He also has a doom wheel, which is somewhat standard. Rat Ogre is also very good against dwarves. If I were Black Iron, I'd probably bring like two or three Bugman's Rangers. Uh, it's very hard for Skaven Infantry to beat them, and they just shut down Rat Ogres. It gives you a lot of, you know, a lot of, a lot of goodies. So hopefully Black Iron brings some sort of missile pressure, uh, Tormentor Swords to shut down the doom wheel, and uh, maybe some Dragonback Slayers in the back, I think would be really, really good. So. We're going to see how it goes. We will see. Yeah, guys, it's going to be it's going to be it's going to be a party today. And they're fighting on the Mortis Waste, which is just basically a, a wide open map. So it's it's definitely good for both factions. Dwarves could play a cannon game if they want to. But I don't know. I feel like the play clock catapults. I mean, Skaven have so much expendable stuff. The dwarves could get like an organ gun or something. I don't know. I feel like they're just going to want to advance, which, you know, a lot of dwarf players don't like to do. Every time I've seen Black Iron play uh, dwarves. He usually uses a lot of cannons. He loves to just like sit there with his cannons and yes. just, just get crunk. So one wrong to put right. So currently, uh, for anyone joining the stream, Professor Pwn is up one game to Nada at the moment. So you know, I can actually, while they do this, I can set up the scoreboard. This was like a completely surprise stream, so I didn't get a chance to like set up all the scoreboards and that kind of stuff today. So um, let me see if I can do this. Uh, Let's do this. I'm getting so fancy, guys. This is just high quality, just A tier streamer right now. Just, you know, Dank Ninja Hunt, I kind of, I've been told at least three or four times in my life that I bear some resemblance to Rick Astley, um, which is which is interesting. I can kind of see it actually a little bit. We are no strangers to love. <laughs> All right, um, black iron battles. Just a whopping, a whopping zero. Over there in the corner, he gets. And yeah, there we go. Okay. You guys like that scoreboard? Solid stuff. Just symmetrical, perfect. Just top tier production quality coming out of this turn channel here. Yeah, good. Enough. That'll do, pig. That'll do. All right, so we're into the map. You guys like that technology? <laughs> Comic Sans drop shadow clip art scoreboard, please. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. It's too beautiful. Good. Yeah, I didn't know I was streaming today. This one was totally like out of the blue, so I just like rushed to make a thumbnail, which I thought was pretty funny. Because Professor Pwn loves General Grievous, so that's the whole thing. All right, so you guys already saw the Skaven army. Uh, looks like it's going to be some plague plague monks. Interesting. So plague monks against dwarves can do okay. They get wrecked by blasting charges, but they can do okay if uh, wither is being applied very frequently. So. Uh, plague monks, and it looks like he has some clan rats, Skaven slaves, uh, artillery. So what he's going to do, very common tactic against the Dawis to split up your artillery so the dwarves can't like go after both of them without splitting up. And dwarf armies aren't nearly as strong when they're split up. It's it's much harder to uh, to do. So, Am I disappearing? Oh, I see it. The dunes. What's going on here? <laughs> the green screen of doom. You know what? Because that's kind of... on my. It looks like on my screen it's fine. That's so weird. You know, we'll just we'll just shut this off for now. We can turn it on in between games. And I'll chat with you guys. Yeah, I know. I, I kind of look like Rick Astley a little bit. I take it as a compliment. <laughs> I've turned into the desert. Yes, I have. Okay. So yeah, rat ogres and what this is this is pretty nasty. So what he's basically going to do here, he's going to split up his forces. He's going to force Professor or uh, Black Iron Battles to decide. So if I were Black Iron, I'd probably just march uh, 
I would probably march after this one and then just like cascade down this direction. Because uh, you're going to march away from the Doom Wheel, taking away the time that it's going to be fighting. And uh, just do this, cleave that, cleave that. Don't get too caught up. I mean, or he could push Shenner and then like detach uh, Miners and some Slayers to go finish that off, which probably would work out pretty well. On top of that, he does have a couple groups of Corlers, so I would have liked to see Bugman's Rangers because of the regeneration and superior melee stats. They're just so much better than Corlers. Uh, but aside from that, Black Iron Battles has Warriors of Dragonfire Pass, Longbeards, all of which are pretty much hard counters against like units like Plague Monks. Uh, Double Thane, he does have Belagar Iron Hammer, so Belagar going a little bit lore friendly here, so we're going to see how this goes. Yeah, rip me. Yes. <laughs> Anna, he's too good to be real. And yeah, guys, make sure to check out uh, the mighty Black Iron. Black Iron uh, Battles actually runs our uh, our Blood Bowl league. So if you guys are enjoying the Blood Bowl content, that's definitely the lad you want to check out there. So the Quarlers, yeah, it looks like in total we do have a couple of groups of Quarlers here. Uh, he's probably going to want to split those up, like not have them that close because the artillery will just take them to Pound Town. Because even if one artillery misses, it could then just, you know, dumpster the other one, which would be a little bit tough, so... Yes. Get the Witch Hunter. Oh, the battle started. Okay. You better advance. These dwarves need to get hustling. Right? They need to pump those dwarven legs because this is going to go so south. Yes. So Black Iron needs to push forward. He needs to get those Quarlers going. That artillery, it looks like one cannon is going to be shooting over here at this play claw catapult, which, you know, honestly, if he engages in the middle, I think after a period of time, that cannon should be able to finish them off because Skaven artillery are very good targets. Uh, oh, but that, oh man, that's so painful. These guys need to be split up a little bit. I see why he's doing it, just so he can pull them back and have them easily defensible, but in this situation, they're just going to get taken to taken to town for sure. Thankfully, Quarlers have very good leadership. So Professor Pwn, like I said, trying to force the dwarves to spread out a little bit, and it looks like Black Iron's going to be patient. He's actually just going to sit here and, uh, you know, scoot his missiles up and try and take that attritious trade, and it might work. It might work, but I really think that the current deployment positioning, yeah, and it looks like Black Iron is going to split those guys up now. Maybe just start shooting at some Plague Monks or Rat Ogres, all of which would be pretty good targets. Uh, you probably don't want to waste ammo on the Skaven Slaves. Granted, they do need to be dealt with. So right there, you can see a volley coming into those Plague Monks there. And, you know, any damage you can do on Plague Monk type units is solid. And yeah, you can see these Miners with Blasting Charges are going to go try and deal with that. But it's just going to go so south, simply because the Rat Ogres are just going to toss their salad. So right now, the Skaven Slaves from Professor Pwn are going to be pushing forward. Black Iron's going to just have to fall back. And I really think that he should just advance his main force. Uh, you know, his attempt here at trying to like counter skirmish this Gaven isn't going terribly well. And you can see the Play Claw Catapult actually doing more damage to the cannon than the cannon has done to the Play Claw Catapult. So the Blasting Charge is going to the Rat Ogres, but the Rat Ogres just going to take these Dowie to Pound Town. This is like a hard counter. Miners are meant against like, you know, kind of armored units just in great numbers, like just swarming with miners and fighting against like a heavy AP monster like Rat Ogres is just, it's just, spells doom. Uh, the Quarlers right now probably need to switch and shoot on the Rat Ogres. Otherwise, it's just going to be it's going to be a bad experience. But the Dwarves pushing forward. Looks like they do get a Tormentor Sword right here on this Doom Wheel, but the Doom Wheel is already free. Granted, the Thane's getting some pretty good work, but those Play Call Catapults just monster mashing. Uh, miners on both sides are just losing heavily to the Rat Ogres. Black Iron Battles is sending in some Slayers to potentially try and, uh, you know, get on these Rat Ogres. And if he can... Yeah, but Professor Pwn sees it coming, I think, and he's, he's going to be able to get back. But these Miners are they're brave people. They're really holding, holding in strong here. So we'll see if the Slayers can get a couple kills. They definitely need to, because this uh, this artillery fire is just brutal. So in the back, you can see the cannon still continuing to shoot in. It has killed one of these uh, Warp Lightning cannon crews, I think. Yeah, it actually destroyed one of the cannons themselves, which is good. So Black Iron is just going to be swarming after the Doom Wheel, which Felgar is actually getting some good work in. But yeah, you know, the one thing that could go for him is that the artillery from the Skaven could run out. And they might not have enough stopping power to deal with like a Dwarf Death Star. Honestly, that could happen. Um, if I were... Black Iron Battle, so I'd probably get this Dwarf Cannon at this point, just have it start shooting at the Doom Wheel or the Rat Ogres. And actually, look at that, guys. This could be a game changer. So the Slayers here are able to kill these uh, Rat Ogres. So they're actually able to catch them. And then you can see the Slayers are going to be karate kicking some of the rats and the Skaven Slaves and whatnot. And, you know, it's, they do get through chat pretty quick. They've only lost one model. So not not it's gotten a little bit better for sure. So the Doom Wheel has pulled back. It looks like it's just going to be routing off some of these miners. And uh, over here, we have a you know an unfortunate situation. These look to be Iron Breakers. Iron Breakers are going to throw some Blasting Charges. I think just a couple limp limp Blasting Charges right there. And uh, looks like the Quarlers have advanced. Maybe they can get some good fire right here on some of these Plague Monks before Lord Skrulk comes in. So Skrulk's going to... He's going to get down and dirty. But finally, the Dwarf front line is pushing forward. And they're going to have a, quite a fight on their hands against the Skaven. Skaven do have Skrulk. And there's also Rat Ogres and an Assassin. But, you know, the Artillery game might yeah dwarves are a resilient folk for sure and it looks like there's going to be a vermintide summon 
And this is why I think Bugman's Rangers are so much better, because they would massacre these clan rats in a matter of seconds with their uh, really, you know, high combat stats. So in the front line, you can see Warriors of Dragonfire Pass fighting against Rat Ogres. And Rat Ogres are not weak to fire, even though you would think they might be, because they're all furry and stuff. But but uh, yeah, the Dwarves are fighting. They do have some Quarler support, which is good. The Quarlers could potentially shoot at the Rat Ogres and the Plague Monks, so... This might be a good front line for the Dawi here. Unfortunately for him, the Doom Wheel is coming back. And you can see these Iron Breakers are just getting massacred. So he definitely needs to split up their formation. And over here, it looks like we have a, a very thematic duel. So Belagar Iron Hammer is throwing some headbutts at this assassin. So uh, I think Belagar actually dies at the hands of an assassin in the end times. I can't really remember. But regardless, Belagar is going to win this fight. Um, he does have Trophy Head, so he's going to be temporarily weakened. But once that wears off, <clears throat> Belagar should be able to win that fight. So... The Quarlers in the back are actually able to fend off the Clan Rats because they are summoned Clan Rats, which means they are going to degenerate here. And the Iron Breakers are actually <laughs> really able to destroy these Rat Ogres. That is uh, surprising, like, how one-sided that was. But Iron Breakers are just such a damn good soldier, and uh, you can see they're going to be fighting. These Rat Ogres are going to waver and break, and it looks like the Miners did get into the Cannon Crew. So Black Iron Battles, you know, with a very rough start, he's getting uh, pretty ferocious here. And so this crew is 100% going to die. This one here, it looks like some Slayers got back there. So Black Iron Battles, despite, you know, a rough initial engagement, Maybe a little bit of uh, indecision as to what to do is finally starting to stabilize a little bit. His cannon's still online in the back, but this damn Doom Wheel from Professor Pwn is just doing a ton of work. And uh, let's see. So these Quarlers are going to get taken out by these Plague Monks for sure. That is not a good engagement. So Black Iron should probably grab these Iron Breakers and have them uh, pull the Quarlers back this way. Get the Iron Breakers to intercept these Plague Monks. And from there, he should be okay. So Belgar did win versus that Assassin, but at a great price. And he's now going to try and fight Skrulk, I think, it looks like. But he is so beat up. That is a that is a dangerous game, Cotton. And it looks like this game in Death Star here is winning against the Longbeards and these guys. And these Iron Breakers are just getting melted by the artillery. But uh, this artillery crew could come back. Yeah, it looks like they're coming back. So Professor Pwn very on top of his micro this game. Balance of Power is pretty much dead even at this point. Belgar Iron Hammer just kind of waddling through the desert. And, uh, you know, doing his thing. But I don't know. I feel like Skrulk is just going to get down and dirty in there. But the Slayers are coming in. So the Slayers getting a rear charge. They'll hit very hard against all these targets. Granted, they'll take a beating as well. Because Slayers do have relatively low melee defense and zero armor. So... We're going to see. In this pocket of the battlefield, you can see that the Dwarf and Longbeard and the Thane are able to win this engagement. The artillery crew is pretty much out of commission here. So Black Iron, he, need, he needs to get these Iron Breakers engaged. He needs to get them just taken out these Plague Monks. It looks like he issued uh, an order for them to throw Blasting Charges and then forgot to issue another order, which is, you know, it's a little bit annoying. But it is what it is. But these Iron Breakers fighting tooth and nail. It looks like there's a one leadership, negative two. And the Plague Claw Catapult with its contamination is probably going to break them. But that Slayer rear charge actually did a lot. You can see the rat lines are actually starting to falter a lot here in the middle. Belgar coming in for round two. You can see he's going to get in there. And we'll see. The Trophy Heads is on him. So his stats are going to be heavily neutered. He's obviously a far superior combatant. But this assassin is is do definitely doing the Skaven proud. All right. So here comes Belgar, And let's see if he can deca decapitate this filthy rat. Oh, and the Thane coming in. The Thane coming in with the steel chair. Did you guys see that? That was so awesome. Like, the, Belagar was having problems, and then, like, the Undertaker just comes in with the steel chair over the head of that, that rat assassin. So, right now, if this Thane and Belagar can finish off Skrulk, I think the Dwarves are actually going to have the game, despite the balance of power being in the favor of Professor Pwn here. So, um, so yeah, it looks like the Doom Wheel is still in pretty good shape, though. Doom Wheel is going to be hard. Professor Pwn's done a very good job kind of cleaning up the back line. Rat Ogres are pushing in, but the Dwarves have uh, a fair amount of Slayers left. And Slayers are just, like, so good against Gaven. It's, uh, it's going to be tough. I mean... Not against like Storm Vermin, but pretty much everything else. And the Play Claw Catapult crews back here getting monster mashed, and they're pretty much out of ammo. So, you know, Punch or uh, Black Iron should probably at this point just leave these guys alone. <laughs> the Thane with the steel chair, that was so great. And now, guys, you can see Skrulk's actually in a lot of trouble, but he actually did kill Belagar. So, Belagar died to Skrulk, and this game is just too close to call. Um, that full health Doom Wheel is scary. There's Radigers coming back, and I don't know, guys. What do the dwarves have? They have a group of Iron Breakers who are very healthy, 38 Slayers. Finishing. How are these Slayers taking an eternity with this crew here? Just taking a year. And there's also a full health group of Iron Breakers. So as long as Black Iron doesn't go to army losses, I honestly don't know what can kill these Iron Breakers. I mean, the Doom Wheel definitely can. If he just cycle charge, charges with the Doom Wheel. But Skrulk's going to scurry away. And, man, Skrulk getting away is really not good. It looks like there's 18 Slayers here. They're going to be trying to uh, finish off the Rat Ogres. And we're going to see how it goes. Oh, look at that. That was that is some gruesome stuff. But the Rat Ogres will probably get dragged down in a matter of seconds here. You can see the Slayers. Oh, the Thane with the punt! He just got punted by that Doom Wheel here, so the Slayers probably just want to jump onto this guy. And looks like it is blessed with filth right now, so it's also applying. <laughs> by God, <laughs> I love WWE commentary. It's seriously the funniest thing ever. Uh, there's some Rat Ogres in the back, but it looks like the Thane and company might be able to get this. A Tormentor Sword going down. Very, very good stuff right there. If this Thane can get one or two more attacks and route this Doom Wheel, that's a really good one. Uh, putting it down to a thousand HP, and there's only four Slayers left, so there's not going to be a lot of pressure. But uh, 
Man, this is just so close. And these Iron Breakers, I don't know. Uh, 35 Slayers back here and 70 Iron Breakers. It looks like there is a Warp Lightning or a Plague Claw Catapult crew over there. So this is such a close game, guys. I do not know how this is going to go. So over here, you can see the Thane. They should probably just run away from the Clan Rats. But these two Slayers are going to try and fulfill their oath here, probably. They definitely will. There's only two of them. But this Thane is definitely the hero of this game. So going to be throwing some karate kicks. You can see the Plague Claw crew is going to be charging in as well. These rats will route in a matter of seconds simply because they're summoned. It looks like the Doom Wheel charging into the Slayers and the Iron Breakers. Now, Iron Breakers, uh, they're going to hold. And you can see they're actually potentially able to route this Doom Wheel. Doom Wheel has about 600 HP. But Professor Pwn is uh, looks like he was trying to pull out there. That's what she said before the uh, before the Doom Wheel got broken anyways. But I don't know. Skrull could, could potentially have like a Rod of Corruption. And it looks like the Artillery Crew is back online. How many shots? Two shots left? That's not going to be enough to buckle these Dwarves. Maybe with some sort of a timing push from Skrull and the Doom Wheel. But I really think that these Iron Breakers are going to be too strong. And the Thane is alive. So Black Iron Battles, despite, like, I really thought he was screwed in the beginning, but he has just fought tooth and nail. Look at this one Slayer. This Slayer, is, he, he needs to be promoted to, like, a Slayer Lord. Look at this guy just charging in there with the Thane. That is so gangster. One of the only things, like, that's only a thing you can get from a Dwarf experience. So the Slayers are pushing in, or the Slayer, with the Thane, and they're going to push in. This is the final fight. So the Slayers and the Iron Breakers fighting. These guys are actually wavering because Skrulk does have Contaminate himself, so he lowers leadership. But I really think that the Thane coming in and that one Slayer, you can just see he leaps in and then a Skaven head just flies in the air as he jumps in. And the Thane coming in with the Tormentor Sword. Thane can easily bully scroll. But the Doom Wheel coming in, so there could be a Mass Terror route, but I think that there's still a fair amount of Slayers, 17 Slayers here and the Thane coming in who drops a Tormentor Sword, which is going to lower melee attack and pin this thing down. And I don't know, I think this Doom Wheel might fall here. We're going to see. Let's go ahead and check its HP. So its HP is 188 right now. It looks like it's going to turn and flee. And honestly, it looks like most of the rats are buckling. Skrulk is still steady. Balance of power actually going back in the favor of the Skaven. What a freaking close game. Over here, there's some Rad Ogres. Oh, boy. If those Rad Ogres are able to get back before Skrulk gets, like, punished here, they might be able to pull it out. But I think with Skrulk going down like this, I think Black Iron Battles is going to pull this one out. And he's going to make the series one-to-one. -one. <laughs> the last Samurai, the last Dawi. And that is it. Black Iron Battles pulling out a very, very intense win there. Oh, man. That was, a, that was a great game, guys. Looks like there's some Rad Ogres coming back, but there's no way. Uh, just have these Slayers chase off Skrulk and you'll be fine. And then, you know, keep these Iron Breakers. Iron Breakers are just such a cool unit. They're such a cool unit. So the Thane going in right there. And uh, he's obviously going to be able to drop some of these Rad Ogres. And just, you know, the melee defense is far too high on these guys for these uh, Rad Ogres to finish in an expeditious manner. <laughs> Man Mankind versus Undertaker. And guys, we got a series on our hands. It is one-to-one. -one. Black Iron Battles and Prof Pwn are tied up in this best of five series. So let me go ahead. And update my, my high-tech next-level scoreboard that all other YouTubers should be jealous of. Because I'm just so good at this. So we're going to we're gonna update that. And uh, now we're going to jump over to chat. Let me get him here. Well played, guys. What a battle. Black Iron. What, what was that magic you worked, man? There was, there was some great plays in there. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, we were able to. I like the Tormentor Sword on the uh, on the Doom Wheel right at the end. I don't know if you saw it coming in there to, to wreck my day, and we paused it and took it off the field right right at the last second. And yeah, I think that was the turning point. I think I could have lost it up until that. It was so close. Got taken it, off. It was so close, man. And Belgard is dueling that assassin for like half the game. <laughs> right. <laughs> just saw Haggard. Just ah. it was great. But yeah, well played, man. That was that was. It looked a little scary for you in the beginning. I thought Pwn had you stretched out and. The artillery and stuff, but you uh, you fought back, man. So well played to you. Yeah, we we managed to to pull out the victory. I don't know those iron breakers. The the first group got just destroyed, but the second group was able to hold on. And I, you know, once once the game gets towards the end there, and you've got some iron breakers left at full strength. I mean, it takes a lot to take down a full full strength group of iron breakers for sure. Yeah, yeah, it was it was it was solid, man. But yeah, good stuff, good stuff, clawing back. <laughs> from, the, from the claws of claws of the scave and so pone what what was your general strategy that game were you going to try and stretch him out with the artillery and get a little bit wild yeah i was hoping i would just out bombard him and then uh pick pick off whatever he sends out there with rat ogres in my doom yeah it, it almost works man your artillery did a ton of damage to the corlers and iron breakers early that was that was pretty nasty and i also really liked your scave and slaves to like screen off the uh the corlers that was that was that was pretty pro it was good stuff it's good stuff. Not enough Doom Wheels. I know. I think we needed a couple more Doom Wheels. So, guys, yeah, you ready? Dragon back, Go dragon ahead. back Slayers would have been good against the Doom Wheel, man, because you can, you know, it's like hard to hold him still. Even with the Tormentor Sword, I, he kept getting away from me. So, yeah. 
Yeah, and they have the slow ability, like you said, so that, that could have been good. But your Slayers were pimps. Like, there was that one Slayer at the end. There was only one Slayer charge. Right. <laughs> he, he actually <laughs> did a rear charge and caused the, caused the route. Yeah, that guy, <laughs> that guy was such a pimp, for sure. So, uh, yeah, make sure, to, make sure to change the map, guys, also, for the third game. Oh, yeah, yeah. And uh, what's, what's the matchup going to be? What do we got? Oh, man. Let's see. For number three, I'll go Tomb Kings. So. Dark Elves. All right, guys. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll see you out there. Do not, do not right, disappoint in, in us. All right, see you guys. All right, you've heard from our competitors, and thank you so much for the donation, Spretso. Uh, the $2 donation, and he says, Dawi too thick for chittering degenerates. <laughs> I was expecting a Chad meme when I started reading that. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Not enough Doom Veils. Yeah. It's time, boys. Dark Elves versus Tomb Kings is a really good one. Dark Elves do have ample answers, but Black Iron should just go very Construct heavy. Um... It's really hard to deal with. I mean, you have the Black Guard of Nogron, you have Dark Shards, you have a lot of AP options. So Dark Elves are equipped to deal with this. I still think, from an overall perspective, it's a matchup that slightly favors the Tomb Kings, but it, the Dark Elves can do it. They have, they have a lot of good... Marathi's, Marathi's actually really good in this matchup. Uh, she has anti-large and AP and really good kind of debuff spells and, and all that. So um, uh, Tomb Kings aren't always boring to watch, Rage Piglet. They can potentially be pretty fun. It depends on how they're played. The Edgy Elves, yeah happening belagar belagar put up a fight that game he did him and that assassin had like a mortal vendetta against one another i hope we see marathi but i know professor pone really likes malekith so he's probably just gonna go very halberd heavy which can be countered if you know if black iron just gets like a couple of shopsy great bows and then goes very wide with skeletons it could be it could be a little bit crazy so <laughs> yes yeah, no, they'll they'll have some. Uh, I wish I could actually see Black Iron's army here, but it looks like um, we're going to be seeing some uh, some Black Art Corsairs. And you know who I think is really underrated in this matchup that you don't see terribly often are the Black Art Corsairs with handbows. Uh, good against carrion, good at clearing out chaff. They don't have the best AP, but they can still like survive better than like dark shards can. So, yeah, yes. Um, the account test account, please ignore to answer your question. I think that Cetra is good. Not as good as Arkin, but Setra is a pretty good lord. You put Setra on a horse with like two Tomb Princes, and then you have a really nasty goon squad uh, with the debuff sword and all that other good stuff. Oh yeah, I gotta turn the I'll turn this back on for you guys here. I think my shirt is a little bit green, so I'm like disappearing into the into the dunes. Let me go ahead and play with it here real quick. Oh, don't want it. Okay, that should be good. We're good. We're good, boys. Yeah, but um, the, the, don't bother with the Chariot with Setra. When you're playing with Setra, you put him on a horse, you get two Tomb Princes, and then that's like three very powerful anti-large troops, and then the rest of your army can just be contoured to dealing with infantry, and and you actually have a... Like, you can melt large targets and enemy lords. Like, melt them. It's very, very powerful, so... Yeah. Yeah, the Corsairs will potentially monster match the front line of the Tomb Kings. Like, they did really well against lightly armored troops. So even against, they do lose to Tomb Guard one on one, I think. But they put a huge, like in terms of just cost analysis, they'll do pretty well. Looks like Pwn is also bringing shades with great weapons. So yeah, if you guys wanted to tune into a stream and see uh, see some units that you don't see often, now is the time. Uh, why does it show the Skaven for unit roster options? Um, yeah, I don't know why it's showing Skaven over here. Actually, that's a really good point. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes there's there's some lag with, with such games. I think it's my fabulous beard. Yeah, I'm growing a little bit of scruff. It's gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be slain soon, so enjoy it while you can. Yeah, thank you guys for joining today. I know it's a bit of an impromptu stream and we just kind of announced it out of the blue, but um, I will be playing my own quick battle stream. I my hands got really inflamed this weekend and I had to like I couldn't do much. So I'm just kinda like resting them for a couple of days, so I don't wanna like get to the point where I can't do anything on YouTube, so I need to, like, be smart about it, you know? Yes. Yeah, Gobble King's correct. If you guys want to see me stream more, show some love in the and beat that like button like a drum. There's 430 people here. We can at least get up to 200. Come on, boys. Come on. Let's do it. What map is this? What the hell is this map? I've never seen this map before. Oh, it looks really cool. Check that out. Like a, a Dawi hold that's been, like, ransacked, kind of. I think, or maybe, like, there was a huge battle over it. This is a really cool-looking map, but... Definitely not a fair one. If, like, the Tomb Kings start up here with their Shopty Grapos on the hill, just raining fire at the Dark Elves, that is going to be... That is going to be real rough. That is going to be real rough. 
<laughs> uh, Shepard says, if Turin had a 24-hour stream, I'd follow it till the end of the earth. You know, um, when, when Anna gets here to the States, and like I said, I'm going to Poland uh, in the next couple weeks for our uh, embassy interview. When, when she comes back with me, uh, we're going to have her start streaming on the channel too. So what we'll do is, in the community section, all right, so this ended up being fair. So the Ushapti, you know, are starting on the low ground. So the Dark Elves can just come down and meet them, which is fine. But it's definitely, a, a, probably not a balanced map. Um, but Anna will start streaming on the channel. So we'll do stuff on the community section where we'll say, where we'll say hey, what RPG, what game do you guys want to see Lady Turn play? And, uh, you know, then it'll be a stream a couple times a week. And it will be good. Hey, we got donations from Wellahung. <laughs> link the player's channel so we can tab easily. I will, absolutely. Um, if there's any mods in chat, can you guys link to Black Iron Battles and Professor Pwn's YouTube channels? Uh, I'll, I'll do it after the stream as well as in the video so you guys will have access to their channels. And then Farragon77 says, when are we going to get an update on my 40k army? Soon. Very soon, actually. Uh, I just ordered a new lamp, like a desk lamp for like painting and stuff. So I'm going to, it, it's really like a, a very nicely well lit lamp. So from there, I should be able to uh, show you guys the army pretty well. It's it's almost done. I need to get like a good camera and do that. But when, when Anna gets back to the States, I'll do a video on my 40k army because I'm getting ready to move and everything. And uh, yeah, there's there's a lot of big stuff going on. But Farragut, thank you so much. You'll see my Death Guard in action for sure. You guys rock. Yes, and Gobble King does have a channel. If you guys, I know he uh, he's back in action now from uh, from his schoolwork. And see, Wolf, we are going to. Uh, yeah, we're good. Making sure the link goes through. Perfect. Yeah, thanks for sharing his channel, Sea Wolf. But yeah, so as far as the army composition go, it looks like Black Iron does have a front line of Tomb Guards, the Kepper Guard, which are one of those must bring. He actually has some Halberds too, so he does have some AP in the front line. The Great Bows here are obviously going to be very powerful against the Black Guard and uh, Malekith. So honestly, if I were uh, if I were Black Iron Battles, I would just shoot at Malekith like the entire time with one of the Great Bows and have the Chosen of the Gods take out these Shades and or you know the Black Guard and the Shades and stuff. Um, he does have a Sector of the Imperishable and a Cambrian War Sphinx. So not going with Ark and the Black discussingness. So definitely give him props for that. He does also have a Tomb Prince on foot. So uh, should be interesting. That gives him a couple curses because uh, the Tomb Prince has a really good curse. It actually sends everyone out of control. So you guys can see the army here. It looks like there are some Nehekar horsemen on the flanks, which honestly can really do well against the Shade. So I like that pick from Black Iron. Bit of a mind game pick. There are some hidden Dark Riders with shields in the back. So um, so yeah, we're going to see. Professor Pwn definitely has the high ground. He's going to have to advance down the hill here. I would, yeah. I mean, he's going to be a gentleman about it. He's not just going to camp at the top of the hill. Granted, he can't anyways, because you shopped your great bows are just going to rain fire in here. It looks like they're missing pretty horribly initially, but there we go. The Chosen of the Gods getting in there. And yeah, Black Iron's just going to kind of sit and wait. Looks like he's going to meet him here. The Shades are going to have a great arc of fire. They're going to be able to just sit and rain hell on uh, any number of targets. Personally, I'd probably get the Shades and try and just melt the Chosen of the Gods. And just have like, and maybe, oh, there's Witch Elves too. I haven't seen Witch Elves in a while. So the frontline engagement is underway. The Black Heart Corsair is going there. And you can see Setra is just going to get down and dirty all over these guys. Oh, the Wrath of Patra going down from Black Iron Battles. Definitely a very, very solid engagement right there. So we got a ton of damage against these Witch Elves right out of the gates. But the Shades are online. One group of Shades is shooting at Setra. The other one looks to be shooting at, I think it's going after Setra as well. So Pwn gets all his focus fire going. But man, Malekith is getting absolutely doggy styled by those Chosen of the Gods. So right now, Pwn needs to get these uh, these Dark Black Art Corsairs, or excuse me, these uh, Dark Riders, and get them into the back of these Ushapti right here. And it looks like he's going to pop Soul Stealer, I think, which is he needs to get a Soul Stealer off. If he doesn't get Soul Stealer, he's just going to get routed off the battlefield. And you can see right here, very good stuff from Black Iron. He uses the Blade of Satep, which gives him negative 30 armor and negative 22% physical resist. And that's the reason why Malekith is getting melted. The Nekar Horseman in the back from Black Iron Battles, he is definitely warmed up now, getting in here and doing a ton of work against these Great Weapon Shades. They will lose in a prolonged engagement, but the Shades took a ton of damage. Like, they traded almost evenly. Now Black Iron's simply going to get his other group right across and disrupt the other group of Shades. And I don't know, this is looking pretty good for the Tomb Kings, but Professor Pwn in the back does get his Dark Riders with shields. And he's able to jump on these Ushapti bows, and they're doing a surprising amount of damage for, like, how low their combat stats are. So very good stuff from Prof Pwn as well. But I don't know, in, in the front line, Cetra is just going crazy, just routing off and terror routing all these Black Heart Corsairs. The Black Guard and Algorand are holding, but honestly, I feel like this uh, this Cambrian War Sphinx and Cetra, that Wrath of Patron in the beginning, just did so much work. So Professor Pwn does have two groups of the Nagrand, uh, the Black Guard and Algorand here, who can hold, and Cetra has taken a you know his fair share of damage. On top of that, you can see some Shades with Great Swords are back online. It looks like he was able to fend off the harass. 
And Malekith has kind of sustained a little bit. There needs to be a Soul Stealer. Something needs to happen here. Because uh, Malekith is just, just getting gunned down by the Shopti. The Chosen of the Gods just tearing into him. And now that the Dark Rider pressure is off the back line, it's back to business. Uh, personally, I think that you bring Malekith on a Velociraptor here. Just he's too vulnerable up in the air against the Ushapti. You can't really hide him very efficiently. The Black Guard are holding. Shades are, you know, still shooting and having a good time. But really, Cetra is just too healthy. Malekith is far too beat up to really do a lot. And these Ushapti Great Bows are just going to sit and just shoot him out of the sky. In the next, like, 15, 30 seconds, he's probably going to be done for here. There's a Soul Stealer going down, so that could actually save him. Soul Stealer does heal a lot, and it looks like there is going to be something. Oh, the Witch Elves actually... Oh, nice. A Breath Attack right there from Malekith is able to do some okay damage against Cetra. Plus, the Witch Elves sent Cetra into a Rampage. So, if Pwn can get these Shades... Oh, and he goes in with the Soul Stealer. This is Pwn's chance to get back in the game. If he can Alpha Strike Cetra right here and get these Shades as well as Malekith and pick him off... There's a chance, but there's a Tomb Prince here with Anti-Large. Malekith is healing the Soul Stealer, but Cetra plus a Tomb Prince. I think it's just too much. I think that Malekith is going to fall and just get picked off. And the Ushapti summon coming in from Black Iron Battles in the back here. And you can see these Ushapti are just going to go to town on these guys. Granted, Professor Pwn did bring the Greatsword variant, who, you know, has really good AP. So you can see these Ushapti are getting melted right back. But I think with Malekith going down and Setra being very low, but I don't know. There's there's too much. There's Tomb Guard in the front line. There's the Ushapti Great Bows who are pretty much untouched in the back. I think, uh, I think that's probably going to be it. And I really liked his use of Setra, like coming in and just melting that front line what a game that was that was a that was a solid a solid showcase of what Cetra can do and you guys were asking about how Cetra is before I mean Cetra can be made to work for sure that was honestly probably better than Ark in there that was that was really really good um yeah we got Lady Turn in chat my love she is here I'm gonna be seeing her next week and we got some donations Joe thank you for the donation brother I will, I will keep up the videos. I have a lot of good stuff coming. So that was, I have a lot of good fun stuff, tournaments, all kinds of stuff coming up in the next couple months, guys. It's going to be, it's going to be a blast. So, um, so yeah, solid stuff. I mean, that, that set of like bro charge and the Ushapti Great Bow folks firing down Malekith. And that's, I think you really do need to bring Malekith on a Velociraptor or like a faster mount because he just gets picked apart on a dragon. That was a, yeah, this stream will be up after. So you guys will be able to see it and everything. Yes. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and jump into chat and see what's going on with the lads. All right, guys. Well played. Black Iron. Some uh, some nice Cetra play, man. Tell me about your overarching strategy. Yeah, man. So so I figured we'd just get a bunch of Tomb Guard to uh, power down his infantry line, really, you know. Um, and then Cetra with that Tomb Prince and the Tomb Prince giving Guardian, you know, with that 20% damage ward save. Yeah. Um, hopefully, yeah. you know, just keep Setra moving, pushing through, and let those ch those Ushapti Great Bows kind of smack down any large units. So they got like I think they did a ton of damage to Malekith before, before yeah. anything even started, pretty much. Yeah, it was you know when you first charged in with Setra and uh, Setra uh, got the Wrath of Petra, it brought those like Witch Elves down to like half HP. It was it was really impactful <laughs> that initial charge and terror routing too on the Black Heart Corsairs was really good. Um, yeah, and, but ultimately, I think your Shopti Great Bows, like shooting Malekith out of the sky, was like, that was brutal because there wasn't a lot of stuff to shut down the Great Bows, and they were just having a field day there, which was uh, which was tough. But, but yeah, well played, man. Well played to you. I, I like the build. It was, yeah. quite dank. it was quite dank. And uh, and Pwn, what do you got for me, man? Tell me about the uh, seeing a little shade action with some great swords. What was, uh, what was the strategy? Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, well, I thought that they could help defend themselves from the Ushapti uh, that would be summoned on them at some point. Yeah, yeah. Meanwhile, their armor-piercing missiles is really good. I, I agree. So yeah. I was like, nuke down Cetra, which some I couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> it, I failed, and then I thought that the Black Art Corsairs would sweep his low-tier infantry line, which he <laughs> didn't. He brought high-defense uh, Tomb Guardians. So. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was definitely. I I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting maybe like some tomb scorpions and stuff, but but um. I yeah. I asked them when I, after, when I was losing there. I was I was like, did you bring tomb guardians? Because I felt like my black heart corsair should have won that. He's like, yes, yes, I did. Yeah. <laughs> all, all tomb guardians. That's that's just tons of tomb guardians. <laughs> yeah, the shades. You know, the shades in the back. Uh, like there was this moment in the game that was really good. You had the. Like, Cetra was, like, in your back line, and Malekith was just about to die, but you came in with a Soul Stealer and the Shade Focus Fire, and it was, like, this... That, like, almost could have killed him. It was it was really... That was, like, an awesome final battle with the Soul Stealer and everything. It was it was good. But, um... But, yeah, I think we're... What are we on? Are, on to Game 4 now? Just, on to Game 4. So, if Black Iron wins this, that's gonna be it for the series. But if Pwn wins, 
We're going to a, a rubber match, boys. So it's time. We're going to a final five, yeah. Well, good luck to both of you guys, and, uh, and we'll see you on the battlefield. All righty. Bye. Cheers, brothers. All right, guys, let me go ahead and update my uh, my high-tech scoreboard. <laughs> Hold on. All right, yes, Anakin, update it. Black Iron Battles has two. Look at that. That is live technology. Number one <laughs> tech master on the internet. All right, um, let's see here. So we got Farragan says... If we can get 250 likes, Farragut will donate $50. Come on, guys. Help a brother out. <laughs> Smash that. Come on. Come on. Thank you so much, man. And uh, Dead Spartan says, thanks for the content. Take care of your hand. I will. The Doing these best of fives and mixing them in with my regular streams is really good for that. And Magnum Knight says, any tips for new players with Total War? You lose a ton on ladder and could use a few pointers. Love Chaos as they are, are uh, my tabletop army. So... Um, Magnum Knights, if you're a new player, I would recommend, there's a couple factions I would recommend playing. Uh, number one, I would probably recommend playing Lizardmen. Chaos is a decent faction for beginners. Um, try not focusing so much on like heavy skirmishing and high micro builds at first, because that's kind of thing. Like a lot of newer players will go onto YouTube channels and, you know, watch tournament games and high level players. And you see these very micro intensive builds and you try and replicate those, assuming the build is going to be good in the hands of, you know, uh, a newer player. But if you're new, just focus on simpler builds. Uh, for example, with Chaos, just bring a front line of Chaos Warriors, four Chaos Warriors. Uh, works in a multitude of matchups. Bring a, sh bring a Shagath, a uh, Kolek, and a Deathcaster. Just get the guaranteed value out of your Fate of Buna. Push forward, force the infantry fight, and just focus mainly on microing your Lord and just getting really good tactical strikes on enemy heroes and high value targets. And, you know, just play like more simple builds at first until you get like a, a grasp on micromanagement and like unit awareness and everything on the map. Uh, there's a couple factions I would recommend for beginners. Uh, like I said, I, I think Lizardmen are very good. Just using like Krokgar and big dinosaurs. Always bring a caster is another tip as well. Uh, you know, that's a big mistake I see a lot of newer players bring. They, they try and get fancy and not bring casters. It's never worth it. Always bring a caster. Um, those are a couple of my, my tips for beginners as well. Um, but yeah, just, just play. Don't try and overthink things and get too crazy. Just get like five infantry. Uh, you know, four or five infantry, you can get a couple spearmen to defend against Cav, you know, big monster Kolek, and maybe get some Chaos Knights and Poison Hounds to give you some utility. So then you're not managing like two separate control groups of mobile units, but rather you're focusing on one Cav engagement, you're focusing on one infantry engagement. If the side of your formation that gets attacked by, you know, the one where your Chaos Knights aren't on, you have some Halberds to defend that. Just focus on simple builds. Um, Chaos are really good, Lizardmen are really good for that. Stay away from factions like Empire, who are very tough. Some of the more touchy factions like Wood Elves. Granted, Wood Elves, in my opinion, are the best race. But uh, to start simple, man. That's that's uh, that's all I got to say. So my, my apologies for the rant. Also, look at some of the you know some of these YouTube channels. Uh, you, know, you can see in my videos, some of my live battles, how I group my and then lock them and how I move them. Uh, you can look at you know any of these guys' channels. Uh, uh, Black Iron, Dov plays Gabo King. You know Gabo. They're they're all amazing players. Uh, so you want to check them out and. Uh, and, you know, Jan on occasion, you know, just watch some of the live battles, watching live battles and look how we group our troops. Always stretch out your troops. There's there's a lot of a lot of stuff going on. Yes, it is time. Yeah, there's a Blood Bowl practice league in our uh, Discord channel. Yeah. And hopefully someone here can link it. Yes, yes, yes. So right now we have Wood Elves versus Beastmen. So this is a... I would like to see some wild riders from Professor Poem, but it looks like he's going to go with no wild riders. So he's going very infantry heavy. So it's going to be interesting to see. He does have a Glady. He has a Way Watcher. He has some very heavy focus fire. So he could potentially snipe out some, you know, chariots and things like that. So, yes. Pegasus Knights are pretty terrible, unfortunately. Yeah, it's really, it's really depressing. No, I, I do not. I think the Wood Elves are the best race in the game. If, if you go into a tournament format and if you get someone who's just like a hardcore wood elf player there it is so hard to beat top tier wood elf players there they just bring so much to the table and they can really cheese out lords and heroes like like no one else can with way watchers yeah yes yes it is time boys let the boy watch so guys this could potentially be the last battle black iron is currently up 2-0 <clears throat> I would say this is a matchup that the Beastmen actually are pretty good in. Um, they have some of the Centigors are a very good tool for hunting, uh, Poison Hounds. You can even use Harpies if you want, but I'm not a huge fan of Harpies here. Yeah, we'll see. I'd like to, I'd like it to go to game five. Um, I'm actually going to grab some water real quick, boys. 
yeah, guys, make sure to help me get to 250 likes also for that for that dank fitty. Maybe I'll grab Wookie too. We'll see. I actually don't like Wood Elves. I strongly dislike them. But uh, but I do think they're the best faction of the game. You have to be real about that. Turn is fading. Oh yeah, the desert maps like like fade out my shirt here. So let's go ahead and turn off the webcam for the battle just so you guys aren't distracted by this, this, this twilight turn in the corner just glittering and sparkling. All right, so in this battle, this is the fourth game in the series. For anyone joining, you can see my glorious scoreboard in the top, which is also fading into the desert. But Professor Pwn is down a game, so it's 2-1 for Black Iron Battle. So Black Iron, he could potentially take the series here, guys, and uh, and put put an end to this uh, to the showdown. <laughs> yes, it is. Not. I'll, I'll grab Wookie. If we go to game five here, I will grab Wookie. Or maybe I'll just end the stream with him. I don't know. We'll find out. But anyways, um, yeah, so Black Iron Battles. Let's go ahead and take a look at his Beastman. So he has a, a Beast Lord on a chariot. What the hell is this? I haven't seen... <laughs> this is something I haven't seen in many ages. Uh, yeah, Beast Lord. Okay, so Beast Lord uh, is going to be on the hunt on a chariot. A very easy target for Wood Elf Snipers. It's a big target. Uh, not the tankiest. It only has 20 melee defense. <laughs> I'm a little bit worried for this Beast Lord, but he does have a Deathcaster. Fate Abuna, very good against Skirmisher Cav, War Dancers. Spirit Leech is good against the Glady. Uh, he does have a couple Bestigors, so Black Iron going with... I really like the Bestigors because uh, War Dancers are a somewhat common pick here, and War Dancers get massacred by Bestigors. So there's some mind games going on, for sure. Black Iron Battles also has a couple Centigors with Throwing Axes. Who will get... If Professor Pwn's Micro is on point, he can out-kite and you know, out-damage these Centigors. Granted, Black Iron does have the support of some uh, War Beasts, some of the Chaos Warhounds. So so yeah, this is uh, this is going to be something, guys. It's going to be a little, little bit of business. So, Professor Pwn has War Dancers, he has some Archers, he does also have some Wild Rangers, who will be useful against the Vesicor Herds. He has a Life Caster, and let's see if he has Dwellers below. He does not, he just has Healing. So, over here, Professor Pwn needs to be really careful, he needs to pull back right now. If he loses these, these Glade Riders for no reason, this is just going to be game blouses. Uh, Professor Pwn, what he needs to do right now is get these Azurai Spears, have them intercept these guys, because he's going to get cut off here, which is just going to be backbreaking. Really good Missile Fire, though, um, getting some great you know damage. And the Glade Riders are actually faster, and you can see Pwn does react with Azrai Spears. You need to screen these guys out, and uh, it looks like he's going to do that, but hopefully they don't get caught. And it looks like uh, Black Iron does see that coming in, so this engagement really, really favoring Professor Pwn, as those Centaurs are melted. But the melee engagement is going to favor the Beastmen, and I do like the Harpies. Just get the Harpies, send one after the Glade Lord, and send one after the Archers, and just let them fight. But uh, the War Dancers will massacre these Gordons pretty hard. War Dancers are very good against Light Armor, so you can see... Some uh, Wood Elf Karate doing backflips and just, you know, all kinds of shenanigans going in here. And, uh, and yeah, so the War Dancers are fighting in the front line. They should cut through these Beastmen forces pretty quick. Granted, those Gore Herds are also giving it right back to them. So, man, doing some work. Spirit Leech coming down from Black Iron Battles. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I feel like these Bestigors are going to be really hard to deal with. And the Beast Lord coming in on his Pimp Chariot. He's going to be riding through. And it looks like a Prey of an Othrama. So, all of a sudden, the Wood Elf Focus Fire going onto the Beast Lord. And uh, the Great Eagle, the Glade Lady, could probably even push on this guy. Wild Dude Ranger's coming in, and he is still snared for a while. This is really, really dangerous. But, again, if you do overcommit to try and snipe the hero and it doesn't pay off, then you're going to be losing in a lot of other facets of the battle. You can see the Death Chariot getting right into these archers right here, which is going to take away some of the pressure on the Beast Lord. But um, Wild Dude Ranger's getting in there. They're getting balls deep all right in that Beast Lord. But Professor Pwn also has secured this flank. It looks like the Glade Riders are coming back from uh, chasing something off the battlefield. So Black Iron has won this side of the battlefield, just hands down. Uh, Prof Pwn needs to make sure he doesn't lose that caster. If he lets the caster get caught up in a herd of beastmen, it's going to be really bad. And the Harpies coming in for Black Iron Battles, definitely very solid stuff. And you can see some of the Wood Elf missiles are now going after the Death Caster a little bit, as the Beast Lord is completely routed off the battlefield. Uh, well, not completely, but... Oh, he's actually he's coming back, so... I meant he was routed from the front line here. So some of the Azurai Spears are going to uh, have to collide, unfortunately, with these Bestivore Herds. There's not really many other options here. And the Waywatchers are right here. The Waywatchers are going to get taken out by the Harpies, which is going to be tough. Wild Dude Ranger is doing a, doing a pretty good job putting on a clinic on these guys. And they do have 17 kills, which isn't obviously the best. But now they're going to be able to start melting through a lot of these troops. So, a very, very close fight. If anything, I think it slightly favors Black Iron Battles. Granted, his Lord is very low. And if the Wood Elves can kill the Lord, like, if he can just get this Glady, like, pray him again and maybe get some focus fire from something. But 
This is a pretty scary little wood elf blob. Um, these glade riders with hagbane tips are going to pull back and start shooting at the centigors with throwing axes, which is a very good play. And a solid fate of Una from Black Iron Battles going down on those Wild Wood Rangers, which is just going to send them back to the Shadow Realm. But there is a regrowth keeping them in the fight. But really, I think that's going to be uh, that's going to be it for those guys. Harpy's doing a masterful job in the back line, just kind of cleaning up some of these Waywatchers. And I really do like the Harpy play. He's uh, he's made it made it look so good and tasty. So right now, these Skirmisher Cav are going to fall back. It looks like they're going to try and snipe out the Beast Lord. Bounce of Power is currently in Black Iron's favor, but you can see the Beast Lord is very low. But I don't know. The Wood Elves just don't have much in the way of infantry. There are some Azrai Spears in the back that could potentially come back in here. The Lifecaster is somehow wavering, even though it's incredibly healthy. There's some Azrai Spears uh, kind of helping it fight right here, but I don't know. I feel like just losing all these Cav, and, you know, despite the fact that the Beastmen are going to be out of Lord here in a second, I mean, 400 HP, I suppose, but just letting these Harpies just doggy style his back line was a little bit tough. Uh, he didn't have ample resources to really defend against those guys, and the Beastmen just kind of, you know, came in with a really, really heavy swarm. So um, right now, the best score herd's in good shape, 74. Those ones only took one loss. Uh, some of these Glade Guards are just getting kind of uh, poked down here. Pwn could win through attrition. If he's able to, like, kite and finish off the Harpies, maybe, you know, get his Eagle Lady and, like, pin down these Harpies. He needs to kite away. He could win through, like, a really long kitey engagement, potentially, but he's running out of ammo, and I don't see anything with the stopping power necessary to get through all these Bestigore Herds. And maybe if this Lifecaster can survive. So the Azrae Spears are coming in here. They have solid AP themselves, so they will be able to hurt the best Bestigores, but really, there's just, like, too many Gores and... They're very lightly armored, so I think it's going to be pretty tough for the uh, ladies of the woods here. And you can see they're uh, getting pretty low. Yeah, they're taking a bit of damage. So the Wardancer is one group at 16, the other one very tattered. And the Harpies are actually able to chase off the Glade Lord, so that's 100% going to be it. Black Iron Battles is going to take this series, boys. That's going to be it. I don't know. I don't know. It looks like that's it. So Black Iron Battles takes it 3-1, to one, guys. What a comeback. You know, his initial game was... He took a beating in that first game. The Dwarf game could have gone either way. But he really came out strong in his last couple of games and uh, and was doing doing some good stuff. Yes. So let's go ahead and take a look at the breakdown, guys. And we'll go ahead and we can do like a free-for-all or something to uh, end out the stream. So we'll open up a spot and get a free-for-all going. Yes. It's treason then. Let me get my headphones so you guys don't get all that stupid echo stuff. What a battle, lads. And if you guys have enjoyed this best of five, make sure to leave a like. I hate asking for that, but it does actually help in the algorithm. It like it feels so cringy to me when YouTubers do that, but I know it's 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 part of the game because the more likes you get, the better the algorithm treats you. All right, so yeah, so if we take a look at the breakdown, uh, it, uh, name of the game was just Swarm. Black Iron went really wide, which is the way to go against missile factions, and uh, you know he was able to do it. He was able to do it, guys. It was it was real solid. So um, that's three one in the series. Let me go ahead and update the scoreboard here. The closing scoreboard. Oh yeah, just just Microsoft Paint level scoreboard action going on here. And uh, we'll we'll get like a free for all or something going. So we'll uh, we'll do it to it. Let me go ahead and get the guys in here, and we will jump in chat. Well played, and congratulations, Black Iron, for uh, for clinching hey. victory from the jaws of defeat. So tell <laughs> us about your beastman strategy there. Oh man, so it was just, I know that, you know, the Wood Elves, one of their biggest strengths is mobility and the Beastmen are also super mobile. So it's like, if you can get around and get on those archers, like, you know, with the Harpies or kind of kind of stop their cavalry with, with some Poison Warhounds and some Senegors, then normally the infantry war will be won by the best scores because there's not really much that the, the Wood Elves have to counter the best scores if you can shut down their archers. Yeah, the best scores were one of my favorite picks from you because, like, most Wood Elf players bring, like, War Dancers in the front line and... Thankfully, Pwn did have some Wild Wood Rangers to fight them, but Best Scores are just so good against, like, those, uh, you know, high DPS, low AP infantry. So, that was, uh, it was really good, man. It was good. You know, it was, it was, I didn't, I couldn't really tell how it was going to go in the beginning. Pwn, you had some good micro with your, uh, with your Glade Riders initially doing a ton of damage against those throwing axes. So, tell me about your build, man. What were your thoughts? To, to me or Black? To you, Pwn <laughs> Master. No. <laughs> uh, well, when he picked... Beastmen, and I was like, I don't know how I'm going to deal with Bestigor, so I just hope he doesn't have any. <laughs> <laughs> He's cross, the cross your fingers approach. Yeah. Yes. I like and it. he did. Uh, and I think what really hurt me was the Harpies. I, I couldn't defend uh, like the Waywalkers and everything from those Harpies getting on them. So. Got it. It was. Uh... Uh, other than that, I was like, just pray up Anathrama, Nuka Lord with arrows. Move on. Yeah. 
Yeah, it was it was close, but I, I knew when the best scores got there, I was like, that's going to be really hard. I mean, but you had some really good uh, damage against his lord. The beast lord almost died initially, which was, uh, you know, I thought you might be able to pull out some sort of a kiting victory, but there was just too many too many angry beasts everywhere, and it was uh, <laughs> there was so many so many speedy beasts, you know, like yeah. the heartbeats and meant the... to be. Yeah, yeah. You, and you know, guys, I have an idea for closing out the stream. So let's get Gojira, Are you in chat here? Saw it. Let's do a rematch of the 2v2 tournament with me and Pref Prof Pwn versus you two. Oh, man, I'm <laughs> you down. You guys down? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm down, but I'm in a Blood Bowl match. Gojira, no. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's see. Is there anyone else we can grab? Uh, let me see here. We could open it up here. Yeah, we'll just open it up to the public and, you know, we'll get yeah. a... Yeah, but so I you... mean, I'm in the second half, so... Yeah, yeah. Okay. It could be a while, though. Those games are long. Yeah. So. yeah. <laughs> so let's have you Not and Black Iron serious. play on a team, and I'll play with someone from uh, someone from the stream. All right, I'll open it. Okay. Uh, or you want to start it up then? Yeah, you open. You open. No, you just open some slots, and I'll join in. All right. Well, the password then is. You don't uh, have a password. Right. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So first person to join is gonna uh, be on my team, and uh, we're doing a two v two. So it's gonna be you and whoever joins first playing against Black Iron and uh, Prof Bone. It's gonna be good, boys. Hey, hey, hey. hey and Prof Pwn can't snipe you and jump in the game this time. So you, you guys all have a chance, actually. Don't pick a terrible map. <laughs> Come on. Whoever no, joins I'm, first, guys, it's, there is no password. The game name is Black Iron. Um, so whoever joins first, there's. Black Iron 2, actually. Is there a particular map you wanna play on turn? Because. Just do like a. Just do like the Outdoor Outskirts or something. Hey, Adam, the thank you for the donation, Adam. man. The He's desserts like, bounty. Yeah, let's see that. We got dessert. Oh, we got Mr. Nice Guy up in here. You guys are done for. No more, Mr. Nice Guy. <laughs> Adam, dude, thank you so much. Uh, yeah, the streams will be back. Trying to do it more, and then we got Farrigan. Thank you so much, my dude. True to his word, dude. You're you're awesome, man. Thank you so much. That's huge. All right, Mr. Nice Guy. He's going dwarves. And, and don't forget to head over to Black Iron Battles YouTube and, sub <laughs> and subscribe. <laughs> Shameless advertisement. Yeah, yeah. Tur Turin loves it when you subscribe to my YouTube. I and do makes love him it. Happy. Yeah, it, re it really. It's you know, just just head over. Uh, the Dowie. I'm trying to think. I'm not sure yet. We we might need to bring yeah. our uh, our two specialties here. Oh man. Let's let's see what Mr. Nice Guy wants. I think he's playing dwarves, so let's have. Oh, you want to go the cancer rather? Than, I, I'm <laughs> no, taking you. Don't you dare! No, no, no! no I'm not dare. I, I will bring the the tomb blade. I promise. I, I I'll think you could bring orcs. So yeah. your fave. Just be like. I do a, love the orcs. Well, but then we don't have, <laughs> don't have we don't, any ranged. We're not we're going. Just out of, we're just not bringing ranged this time. We're not That's going fine. for the for the try hard build. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. We're using using our. Uh, Key okay, guys here. I kind of want to bring some trolley shit. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it. All right. I'm going with Bretonia. Oh, we've actually got. It looks like. It looks like Gabo King is in the spectator slot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it begins. <laughs> you guys. Skulking in the shadows. You yeah. guys are done for. Mr. Nice Guy is going to smash you. Oh, man. He's coming for that ass. Can you tell him not to smash us? No, it's not. The smashing is just coming. <laughs> it's, it's just, it, there's, it, there's nothing we can do about it. It's just, <laughs> Except your face. It's just, just over. Just brace. Yeah. Just give just up now. No more, this nice guy. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. All ye who enter this 2v2 match. All right, Mr. Nice Guy, let's do this. <laughs> Double lizards? No. Um, Sorry. You were excited. You guys want Lizardmen? Trust me, you guys are gonna like the way you look. I guarantee it. I don't know. I don't know what the guidelines are for shirtless streams on YouTube. I know on Twitch you can't do that stuff. No, it's it's you can do it. It's women who can't do it. Really? I yeah. Well, I think you still shouldn't. I mean, well, I don't. I, I don't think you can show nipples of any kind. I'm I think you're not a creep. Yeah, no. dude, you should get yourself some pasties, some little orchid oh, pasties, dude. This is just devolved but quickly. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing good about this. <laughs> you guys are in so much trouble. Probably. You guys should probably just surrender now. Mr. Nice Guy and I are going to give you the best. Oh, man. You keep keep saying that. We just might, man. It's hard enough playing against you. You guys you guys like the... Open the chat. Oh, yeah, it's Gabo. He says, 
The chat want Professor Pun Black Iron and Turn shirtless for this match. Goblin Goblin King says he's shirtless and pantless, but I have a hat on. I like it. <laughs> All right, let's do it, boys. Uh, wait, the total hammer bros are in here? No, that's that's Gobble King. He's just trolling me. Oh. Yeah. I don't I don't see him in the chat. He's in the, the chat in the uh in the in the game. Right, that's what I'm looking at. I see tear gas is like in the game, but Yeah, Tear Gas is Gobble King. That's what he's that's what he changed his name to before he ditched all of us and stopped being our friend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you remember being more edgy than I ever could. All right, ready up, boys. It's time. There's gonna be a wreck. You guys better not be stream sniping me. I swear to God, dude. What? No, I haven't. I don't even have your stream open. You better not. Me either. I'm not. We no, we're here for fun, man. Hey, Mac, I like to. I'll go back and watch it afterwards. I don't know enough about the different units to stream snipe you anyway, so I just... I just, <laughs> just, <picked> one, <laughs> I just Turn, just brought, one, like, turn I just brought a bunch of Kev. Well, I, I better bring a bunch of our guys to counter that. Yes. I just, I just brought guys. seven... <laughs> <laughs> I just brought seven black orcs. Is that not the correct thing to do? <laughs> Dude, you're, you, you have to fight the Dowie. Wow. Mech, thank you for the donation, man. And he says, can we please see a battle using heroes and regiments for now only? Yeah, maybe, maybe on next stream we can whip that up. I think doing. Were you guys Whip back it. in the? Remember back in the day when we did that like heroes only game? That was pretty fun, right? Were you guys in I that? Never, or I like, never participated. Yeah, I, we, I had seen them, but that could be something fun to bring back. So thank you, man. Bring them back now, y'all. Uh, Twenty heroes this time. time. Twenty heroes this time. Guys, don't <laughs> worry about my build. Just accept it. <laughs> Just accept it. Nothing but field trebuchets, I hope. No, the dwarf. Dude, do you think uh, I would bring trebuchets with the dwarf? He's got that <laughs> shit hoping, covered. I was hoping. He's got that covered. Yeah. It's just all cavalry. There's two Pegasus Knights. It's going to be it's gonna be glorious, I'm sure. Pegasus Knights. Yeah, thank you guys all for the uh, donations today. It's been huge. I brought mass archers. No, oh, that's what I brought. I brought all goblins. Dude, you guys are so well, done for. The, the Dowie are coming in with a full chub here. All right, you guys have a thousand troops, so it's a big. The Dawi came with some some strong troops that means. Yeah, they got some iron breakers and stuff for sure. Yeah, they 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 got some very elite stuff. That's the reason army so uh so, so small. small. Yeah, for sure. That's what she said. So good and tasty. So good and tasty. All right, let's go ahead. And... Mm -hmm. I don't even know what you have. Let's take a look. That, that's my nickname. Good and tasty. Good and tasty. <laughs> so people call me at school. All right, school boys. School. It's I time. I called you Mr. Pee Pants because you always pee your pants. Oh, that was fifth grade. People don't forget. <laughs> <laughs> what, guys? Let me let me get back in shape before I do a shirtless stream. I've just been just been eating. <laughs> just been eating and laying around. Why do I feel like you're trying to let me go just sacrifice myself before you come? <laughs> <laughs> Black Iron's just deploying behind Professor Pwn. I 100% did. I didn't even notice I was doing it. I'm sorry, man. No, it's all right. We'll, we'll just go sacrifice ourselves to the gods. Well, <laughs> Mr. Nice Guy has quite an next level formation. Yeah, you, it, it can't be as good as the defensive geometry that I saw. No, this is this is like a whole another plane of existence. That's it's like that's, it's something I've never seen before. That's scary. You, I don't even know. I hope it doesn't <laughs> stay that way. Oh my god! Please don't deploy that way. <laughs> Please don't deploy that way, Mister Nice Guy. Come on, man. Well, I'm getting a feeling that there's some rangers like right here. Dude, you, you guys are getting mass vanguarded. That's what's happening. You know, I'm putting Just the pressure on. I'm readying up. I've been ready, man. We're, we're both ready. Yeah, we're waiting on yeah, you. We were, yeah, we shut were your, just trying to. You shut your we were mouth. just trying to get more time for exposure on Black Iron Battles YouTube channel. <laughs> so go ahead. And... I love it, dude. Go ahead. You know, I love to drink back Black Iron Battles when I'm tired after the gym, after yeah. a strong workout. In case nobody saw my final Blood Bowl match, it was played on Sotex channel. So if you want to go watch the Halflings Ogre matchup, it's over there. Right, but but to see that you have to subscribe to Black Iron Battles, so it's it's a weird, you know. We I wanted to, to bring you that match without our commissioner, Black Iron Battles. Brought to you by Goblin Gaming. I love it, and uh, there will absolutely be a link, absolutely be a link to both of your channels after this. So, 
Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm thanks, just man. I'm, I'm just messing around, man. I'm just I'm just having a good time, man. Farragut, thank you, man. Uh, I'll get Wookie for you after this game before we close out the stream, and uh, I'll get back to you on the other point. Turn's about to get humiliated. No, actually, he just changed up. He just changed up. There will be a reckoning, Vampire Air Force. <laughs> oh, I knew it. I knew there was going to be a bunch of fucking flyers. <laughs> <laughs> and dude, look at the geometry. You guys like that? Oh, dude, that's a trapezoid. <laughs> I heard about those in school once. You guys are so done for. <laughs> Keep oh, your archers is... over here by my flyers. <laughs> no, it's gay for you. I'm not sure what's going on. It does not look happy or healthy. The Come manny. On. You guys are all warmed up. The dwarven. The dwarven. He's shooting the grudge throwers at your, your terror guys. <laughs> he, I think he just missed every shot. Too. Shoot, shoot the yeah. black orcs. <laughs> <laughs> no, the black orcs are good. They've Get got the terror guys. He's OP. I just, I just told him to shoot the black orcs. No, don't shoot. Don't shoot no, don't shoot up, the dude. terror guys, please. Oh, he's, he's going to get it, though. Jukes. Watch out. Oh, dude, I think I'm actually getting my Mogrubs in the line of fire on accident. I think I'm... <laughs> oh, man. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Knights. They are magic damage. No, they're not. <laughs> they are, though. Start, stop I spreading. Can see that. Oh, did I just fly in front of the artillery? There he goes. He's shooting at the right stuff now. Hell, yeah. Yeah, you got some graveyard. Oh, I thought those were skeletons for some reason. I should I should pay closer attention to my allies. Run, Mograb, run! All part of my secret plan: try and take over the world, brain. Hey, thank you. Oh, the winds of death! <laughs> <laughs> My wife and I always joke with each other about who's Pinky and who's the brain. This is another plan to take over the world. <laughs> it's like, it's like nobody wants to be a Pinky. You know? Wait, did I miss? <laughs> what happened? Oh, my caster got terrorized. It's okay. We don't need our caster to to do deal with the filthy uh, filthy green skins here. Okay, we've we've held them up. It's on you, dwarves. One terror guy's down. Pulling back the calf. Get in there, Louis. Oh, you know who's next. Manfred, we're coming for that sweet ass. Let's do another charge here. Do a charge right here into these guys. Oh, Manfred, we're coming for that. Oh, uh, get in the ground. Get on the ground. I'm going. <laughs> I'm trying anyway. <laughs> no escape. He's got a couple of units on him. Okay, this is good. We got the chill guys right where we want him. Some goblin wolf riders coming around. Dude, King Luan's goon squad is just doing work up in the air there, guys. Yeah, that that geometry though, I couldn't really get the wolf riders actually in, you know. <laughs> yeah, the Bretonian knights should intercept them too. You know, yeah. everybody everybody laughed at my Pegasus knights until it was too late. Yeah, they really were unopposed here. They ran unopposed for council. Okay, we got in here. Let's get around the back. Good night, Manfred. I'm coming for that ass. Louis coming for it. Wait, I just tried to cast it on him. I just tried to cast an invocation on himself, and I it like missed. Oh, did it? He, he like did a leap at the last second. I, I don't okay, you guys back? Oh, yeah, we're, we're getting in there. How's he doing? Is he dead yet? Yeah, he's dead. Is he dead yet? You're lying. <laughs> yeah, he's dead. Don't don't even try to chase him or nothing. It's all good. There's nothing to pursue. No, he's dead. No, no, don't even worry. All good, guys. Hey, don't worry. We'll, we'll just slow you guys down. I'm tired of all this moving around. There we go. We're getting you, Manfred. We're getting them. No. No. Yes, Lewin. Finish him. Paladin. I'm the rightful emperor. <laughs> he's going down. He's crumbling. I don't know. We might lose the frontline engagement, though. These black orcs are cutting through pretty well. They are. They're they're just pimping it. Pull you guys back. Got some royal Pegasus knights. Can chase off those guys. I need you to get out of here, buddy. Louis. What a twist, Louis. <laughs> 
There's no way. Oh. Get in there, boys. Well, we still have a lot of Dwarven Reserves. Oh, come on, Paladin. Louis gonna, he's coming back. You just wait. I'll chase him till the ends of the earth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Paladin. Okay. What do we got? What do we got, Dawi? We need some love. Oh, Lewin, we need you to rally. I don't know if it's possible to rally if they're that close, but... <laughs> Not today. Not from a Jedi. My army's just too spooky. Uh, give us the wog in the middle. Ah! <laughs> that, that attack bonus works really well with the uh, low attack of the ethereal units. It does. Ah, and there is no more Lewin. Lewin <laughs> is gone. And we it's Captain a, Noble as well. It's up to Mr. Nice he, Guy. Paladin's Been gone. duped. Oh, yes. And we caught those units in the back with the uh, Nazi Skulkers. I can't believe Nazi, Nazi Skulkers were key in this one. They were, can't believe uh, Manfred's still alive. <laughs> yeah, you, you can't you kill man. He's too strong. The Paladin tried, guys. We got too bloodthirsty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going we're gonna to get in here and try and... We have like a pocket of units back here that are, just aren't fighting anything. Like right here. No, you don't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stop making things up. <laughs> Aha. Oh no, Manfred's coming back. Well, they were just fighting the noble. The mo noble uh, finally went down. Who do we have as our lord? Oh, we got Ungram. Big Daddy Ungram up in oh, here. Oh, we've got an Here We Go going off in the middle. Oh, well, we I have 16 Grail Knights. <laughs> <laughs> I see him. I'm coming for those Grail Knights. You aren't getting them. Oh man, the Grudge Star is still shooting the uh, Dragon Breath. Oh wait, it did. It didn't use it. We tried, guys. It, we tried. It put it on cooldown, but we tried to bonk the flyers. It just, it just wasn't possible. I'm getting those Grail Knights with my uh, big boss here. Oh, he's oh, gonna get wrecked. Big boss took some damage. He gets wrecked by those guys. Dude, Ungrim is just holding. I'm, it's a night goblin war boss. It's not like you're you're holding. He's just holding, man. Here. I'm stream sniping. How how is that even possible? <laughs> G. I knew you were cheating. <laughs> GG. No way you knew I was gonna bring a bunch. Oh uh, yeah, we get a wog in two seconds. I, I am next level. Down. There we go. Now now uh, Ungram's gonna go down. Yeah, Ungram's. He Mr. Nice Guy, guy did a very good job. He, he held like a true Dawi, but my Air Force failed. We tried. They had one job. Hey, we killed the Terror Geist and almost got Manfred, but, uh, you know, losing that life caster that early was really rough, too. That was... I just out, out micro. What can I say? Dude, I couldn't. I, you, you lured me into the pits of the Greenskins <laughs> with the Tormentor Sword. It's a trick. Oh, is that what happened? You tormented him? <laughs> I think oh, so. Yeah, I Tormentor Sword everybody, <laughs> I was like, I can't believe I like I just got out of that that easy. I knew that it was yeah, just like a blobs and stuff, but yeah, there was a whole blob there, and I used that tormentor sword <laughs> right in the middle of it. <laughs> just to, everyone just stopped moving. It was great. Mr. Nice Guy says I suck. Oh <laughs> God, <laughs> says you suck. Yeah, yeah. Get yeah. Raged against. The yeah. funniest part is that he probably had no idea about the stream. He was just like some random, you know, random guy. That would be really funny. <laughs> in a random game. That was great. <laughs> You guys want to do one more? You want to do one more? Uh, I got one more sure. in me. Okay. But no more Mr. Nice Guy, huh? No more. Hey, he played well, for sure, but my, my high grade build yeah. did, didn't work out like I planned. <laughs> oh, man. That was Turns like, well, I know Prof's going to bring in Air Force. <laughs> yeah. I, I thought we could get his favorite. <laughs> All right. We are yeah, actually gonna... Torment of Sword Bait. Yeah, you just landed was the problem. If you had stayed up in the air, I mean, we didn't have anything to kind of to shoot you out of the air with. You know, it doesn't suck. I had to come for the goodies, though. I had to come for the, the Manfred. I wanted to goon him. All right, so let's open up the slot to uh, someone else from the stream. Yep. Yes. And talked. you should you should say say a code on the stream a code word like uh, you know pieces <laughs> hey, pieces. First come and first so serve way. here, boys. First come first serve. Whoever's in here gets the gets the, and I won't here bring such a Mr. Nice Guy. I won't bring such a meme. Oh, Gabo! Oh, <laughs> it's Gabo oh, King, isn't it? Gross. No, Gabo King's tear gas. Are you sure? Are you sure? I'm no, this sure. is Gabo. This is Gabo King. 
All right, guys, we got the Gabo King in here. It's him. Did he change his name? Because if you look in game, it says tear gas, doesn't it? Yeah, no. but it doesn't say that there's anybody in the game named Total Hammer, bro. Yeah, it's very confusing. So I think he did change his name. <laughs> we can play Warriors of Chaos, us. sure. It is time. So, <laughs> thanks, thanks, Matt. Appreciate it. I will not forget. Mm, who do I he said it's Jonathan. I swear. It's not I don't true. remember who. Who did we use the first game? No, oh, oh, we didn't play one the first game. game. Oh. This is the, never mind. Um, I don't know what Gabo's gonna pick. Unjustifiably. What's the guy? What's Gabo's name right now? He's total, total hammer bros. Total hammer bros. We have to, we have to do a better build this time. We can't do, we can't meme every game. Meme. -a. I'm definitely not memeing here. Pick your army. Pick your army. Choose your poison. Choose your poison. Oh, I still got the scoreboard overlay. Let me turn that off. Hold on. Okay, so I'm gonna. I guess Gabo wants me to join voice chat with him. So I'll do that, and you guys can talk dank strategy. All right. Well, don't forget to um, subscribe to Black Iron Battles <laughs> YouTube channel. <laughs> don't forget. Never. Hey, what's up, man? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I you ready, ready to party? <laughs> Are you ready for the mass wrath of, of the chariot lord? See, so, so you're gonna go with the chariots? You're thinking? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I, can't, I can't not play not roll someone. There's a little lag with chat, so let's. It happens sometimes with direct calls. Let's jump down to uh to the recording room and see if that helps. All right. All right. So let's see if this fixes it. So guys, you heard it here. Gabo is gonna go full. Chariots. How do I go full chariots? I mean, yeah, a couple. I think you don't want to go too crazy. What would Circa Elf do if he was a Tomb King? Well, Arkin on a chariot for sure. Oh yeah, we already got that. So I guess I'll handle. If you want to handle, like, get a couple of great bows too, just to oh, give okay. us, give us like in case Pwn gets a Star Dragon because he loves dragons. So, all right, we'll get some of that. Uh, there we go. And what else do we need? Uh, How I much got money do you have? Uh, well, I, you know, I don't have a job. I'm poor. I'm not like you. Yeah, no. uh, dude, I, under I fully understand <laughs> I got about that. 2,000 left. What do you got? Can so, I could just go very heavy in the front line. I, I don't want to get chosen, because we'll probably see uh, Fate of Unit from Black Iron. So, I think just going with Chaos Warriors is probably a little bit well, more Well, I can heal you with the Tomb Blade. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can, actually. <laughs> um, do I want to contest the Cav game with, like, Chaos Knights and stuff? Or your Great Bows can shoot them down, right? What do you think? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, you can take Chaos Knights. Get some chaos, and, uh, chaos knights and hounds. Yeah, yeah. He does like the dragons. We can shoot the dragons down. Well, the Shopty Great Bows melt dragons. Plus, plus Spirit Leech from Arkin and my Deathcaster. We can, like, nuke any any dragon pretty hard. Um, do we want some, like, Forsaken or something? Do we need Forsaken? I don't think so. I mean, they're good against, like... No, no, we don't need... For I got four chariots. Like, we don't need... The Forsaken... <laughs> yeah, we have the high DPS duty. covered from the chariots here, boys. Yeah, um, I think... Hell Cannon? We no. really want it to be... Yeah, just go to Chariots, because you just have a whole bunch of armor piercing. You got some anti-large. The shots of great bows are basically anti-large. Yeah, I think, I think um, we're covered. I could just get more hounds and like just cheap infantry. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's going to be the way. Some aspiring yeah. champs? Nah. Not a huge fan of those guys. We'll get some just Chaos Marauders just to fill the, the void in my heart. Yeah, the emptiness inside me. All right, guys. I'm ready. Gobble King's I'm going ready. going just balls deep with chariots. They're probably stream sniping right now. Dude, I need to get more chariots. I I mean, I feel like f four units is just isn't enough chariots. Yeah, I think four is but enough. But I don't know just, what to drop. Like, I need the spears just in case. Yeah, just know, in case I can't protect you and they overwhelm us. Because they are beastmen, so there's going to be throwing axes and stuff. But Great Bows yeah. counter throwing axes pretty efficiently. Are we at an oh, I, got, I got the skilled. I got the Marauder Horsemen who have been resurrected from the dead. What the hell is this map? What is this? Yeah, oh, this L, oh, because you don't play campaign. Let me tell you. Let me did tell they, you what this map did is. Did they put us on a choke? No, Vol's Amble is the uh, it's the quest battle. I think it's Malachis' quest battle, uh, where he goes to Vol's Amble, which is on the southwest corner. Of Dude, what the, the? How are your chariots going to do anything here? 
First of all, <laughs> don't question my chariots. Chariots, they're magical. They can do anything they want. Look at this fucking look at this map is horrible for people for 2v2. It's like just gonna be a meat grinder. <laughs> That's fine. If anything, this favors Grapos though, because there there's nowhere yeah. for the beastmen to flank. They have to just come right up the pipe. You know? Um, if, this is a monstrosity. Can they, can they deploy behind us? Well, I don't know. They haven't loaded in yet. I can't actually see. No, yeah, we're still loading in here. So We're fine. We're fine. Oh, there might be a little bit of space. Yeah, but I mean we can easily counterplay it. I'll just put my oh, chaos knights there. Can't, we can't deploy in their corners. Dude, we so start up hell too, so they have to like march up towards us. <laughs> <laughs> just get your get your grapos on like a ledge somewhere. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, is there any? Is there any national? Not really. So thank you guys for joining on stream today. Hopefully you're having some fun. So you got those two fifty likes. People want to see that shirtless stream. Yeah, I don't know. I'm pretty. This sure is what it's, you do. I don't. You just, know if wear, you, can. you just wear your pug shirt, right? Because it's skin tone. Or no wear a skin one shirt, like one of those like like. Six pack shirts. <laughs> we'll get you all. Know, you should do the Hulk Hogan one. You get one of those like muscle shirts, you just rip like it. a Hulk Hogan mustache. I can't rip it though. My hand it hurt my hands. Oh my god! I know. Get you. Oh no! You gotta get the muscle suit. All right. So uh, their vanguard options are pretty much non-existent. This is literally just a meat grinder. Oh, that's fine. It's I like mean, two, I can barely two, fit my infantry across the front line here. That's what she said. That is what she said. Okay, so we'll get these guys. We'll get some chaff units here and here. Oh, look at that. You get a little Vanguard action. So yeah, where are you oh. able to Vanguard? Just <laughs> They don't really have I that option against us, I don't think. Because no. we have, like, lava. <laughs> I mean, all Because the only thing, like, I don't know. Unless they brought Harpies. Like, they can't really Vanguard. Well, they picked this map. Here, I'll, I'll hang out in the in the fires. All right? Tomb Kings like fire. They do, yeah. Oh my god, this is such a hideous map. This is horrible. What? Are, what? Are the, oh, these are skeleton horsemen archers. Okay. Oh yeah, dude, you gotta you gotta go full ham. Dude, the, just the downhill charge of the chariots. It's gonna be so great. <laughs> Anything with light armor, we're gonna we're gonna snag it. Well, it's, it's probably gonna be spe spearmen and bestigors and stuff. So <laughs> that's fine. Yeah, once fine. once you get engaged, if I can just start running rampant, we'll we'll have it. I'll save Spirit Leech too until you call for a target with Arkin. And uh, probably want to go for like Pwn's Dragons. If there is a dragon, we want to kill it fast. Yeah, we, uh, you think there's going to be a dragon? Their, their army's the same size as ours, so it's fairly elite. It's going to be like elite stuff. Yeah, it's probably about the same. Our army's small because you have chariots. like with <laughs> Oh, wow. And yeah. constructs. Like their army is tiny. For, it's so legal. It's, there's it's legal. probably dragons. There's probably dragons. Uh, yeah, I think we're good. I'm ready. You ready? Let's, let's put the pressure on him. <laughs> they, 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 oh my god. The only place you can vanguard is above the lava with flying vanguard. <laughs> Alright, so let's just... Right. We need to kill that prince. And the Walmart dragons. I think this is what we do. I'll, I'll spirit leech, right? The prince. And then once that spirit leech goes off, you use your spirit leech. And we'll sure, just sure. alternate. I'm just going to scoot up a little bit to... Uh, I'm going to keep poison hounds to help your Ushapi. So if they land back there, the poison hounds will just kind of try and drag them off. What do they got back there? They got some archers. They got some best. The, the carrion are just going for the, the goodies. All right. Uh, my horse archers need to go play with the centigore the throwing axes. Where are those guys? Are they? They're uh, not, there's no fancy. They're, they're all in front of us, which is pretty good. Yeah. I'm going to scoot up to like here and try and uh, get the, the high ground positioning. All right. I'm going to just slowly walk forward here. Me too. I guess we'll just keep walking them forward as we get some shots. Yeah, so hives are just like dragons mostly. So I'm gonna get some rotters to like uh, push in on those like his skirmish units there. Well, they're dropping the uh, dragon princes to the left flank if you want to collect it. Oh, they have dragon princes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. I'm gonna get a faded bean on one of those. And it looks like they're going to go straight for good old uh, Archon Black there. Arc in the darkness. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to pull these guys. I'll get some Poison Hounds going as well. And yeah, Dragon Princes are being uh, pretty conservative, actually. We got the front line engagement underway, so. Uh, yep, all right, so they're starting to come in there. So let's focus on that. And Fate of Yuna on the best gore herd. That should be enough there. Where are the storm going? Move my spears up and... Well, I'm going to get my Poison yeah. Hounds going after those guys in the back. What guys in the back? The archers, yeah, they, they left that whole pocket open. Uh, did they? Yeah. Yeah, we should... We should be grabbing all that. I'm getting that I'll, uh, I mean, I got cherries. We might as well, might as well take them for a ride. Oh, they, they got Malagor. All right, looks like they're going back to... Uh, dragons are going to come back there to the bows. 
Cool. I still have all my wins of magic. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for the Dragon Princes to commit, but they aren't. So I'm going to get some Poison Hounds to uh, get peel this Gorble off you. Yeah? Yeah, you're good. The, oh, you're so front, nice. Their front line is 100% buckling. With uh, your chariots and, and the shaggies and stuff. People can't handle chariots. Dude, the chariots, chariots are just gods here. They, they fear they fear the chariot. They, why do you think Sir the Elf is the most feared lord? Sir the Elf, dude. <laughs> oh, we did that once. I think it was Dom plays and me. We had like a chariot off battle. Yeah, yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah, it was just like this is the most haggard battle I you think I've ever seen. If they land, I'm keeping my Chaos Knights and just being really, really patient with them, but have they landed anywhere that warrants a... Uh, not really. Okay, I'm going to get the Shaggis to kill that Gorbel in the back. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much done for. Keep Got focus the there. My chariots are getting stuck on dragons, though. I wasn't really playing on that. Chaos Knights, I'm just shoving down the pipe on some Centigors. This is going to be really good. I think we're in good shape. We've we've got some good we've got some good penetration in their lines. <laughs> yeah, we're doing pretty good. Like, I mean, the, the matchup kind of favored us. It, it favored heavy infantry with maybe a little bit of back line support. Uh, and they just they just gave us everything we wanted. Okay. Honestly, I think they needed uh, they needed some Angor Raiders. Some, some that could have pressured the Ashapi. Because the, dra right now the dragons seem a little bit inefficient against like our build with like great bows and shagas just waiting for them. It's kind of like they, they there was a little indecision with landing those guys that I think was really really good for us. Well, a little uh, little, little breath attack coming in. I'm gonna go smash the uh, Malagor there, the turkey. Malagor, where is he? Yeah, he's he's fighting my Chaos Warriors over here. A little bit of lag. They got a couple stuff over there. I might as well send some spears up there to get that up. And I'm just going to keep shooting those dragons. Look at Malagor scaring away. Just just squealing. Into the, into the darkness. Come on. Well, I know we have we have a spectator in here. A random spectator. They might be causing the lag. Their whole back line's buckled. <laughs> now we got Spider Beast. Shout out to Spider Beast. Be sure to subscribe to his channel. Spider Beast? Yeah. Oh, sh oh crap. Ark of the Black does not do well against two dragons. <laughs> Spy okay, Spider Beast left. I think that'll fix Yeah, well, I mean, he was too good, honestly. Like, uh, he's just... I will Spirit Leech the Sun Dragon. Perfect. Uh, I'm out of Winds of Magic at the moment. Malagor's and dead. Archon is going to have to just start running for his life. What yeah. else is going on? <laughs> Their forces are in full retreat, brothers. <laughs> I think we got it. I think yeah. uh, I think our forces are a little too a little too hot to handle. Too strong. The dank chariot build was pretty cool. Dude, people people love chariots. You can come out there. I'm excited I to look at their did. kills after the game. Actually, I don't think I got too many because uh, they they've been countering the chariots with uh, with dragons. Uh, yeah. Archon also not doing so good right now. Where is he? Uh, exactly. He's moved on to a better place. He's moved on to another realm of existence. <laughs> Well, I'll, yeah, kill this, uh, I'll kill this Gorbel. If you can pop that dragon, we'll be good. Yeah, you're already shooting it, so. Yeah, it's... The shop to you. If left untouched, like... Anytime I play against the Tomb Kings, I have to bring units just... Just to throw away on the shop to you. Yeah, absolutely. Like... They're pretty damn strong. That's our just... dragon. Oh, it's so low. I got a Spirit Leech for it, too. That should probably finish it off. With your uh, Focus Fire. I think uh, the traits of... Claims many a souls. I see him in the back, dude. Forty-three kills in those guys. It's not bad at all. Oh, they can rack it up. I guess, especially against this light armor stuff. You get into the back line against them like goblins. We'll do all right. I have yet to actually hit the first tier of realm of souls, by the way. Yeah, because well, you do, you're mostly constructs. I really think that tomb kings and uh, chaos complement each other pretty well. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot. I mean, double end. lore of death plus like uh, you know. We'll save that. Save that for later. That might be a fun one to cast. Dude, GG, bro. Yeah. GG. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go now. I have to go. Uh, wife's here, so we have to go. Tell her I time. say hello. I will. And, and uh, thanks, soon thanks for playing, man. Soon Anna will, will be in the United States. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be a party. I'm going on the 27th for our interview, so you'll, you'll All stay right, tuned I'll see for you that. Later. See you, brother. There's the Gobble King. Make sure to check out his channel. GG, boys.
Oh man, that was not the business. What was that map you guys picked? <laughs> I don't know. I just picked a random map. I thought it sounded what cool, the hell and then that? it was it was like the counter to the exact we, build we, we brought. We don't like, know what the competitive maps are. We're not yeah. tournament players. Yeah, we just we just picked one, and it, it just like we I couldn't get her. You know, the mobility around the outside. I was just like just getting trapped. <laughs> just getting corralled and run over. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Around the outside. Around the outside. <laughs> but yeah, and so I think we're gonna wrap up the stream here. So. uh so big thanks to uh, Black Iron and Pwn, Gabo for all playing. And uh, Black Iron, closing words to the stream. Yeah, man, I want to thank you for having me. It's been a lot of fun. Um, check me out, Blood Bowl 2, um, Total War, Warhammer. I play Arena. We get get all sorts of stuff going on the channel. So uh, Black Iron Battles on YouTube. Go ahead and head on over. Subscribe if you uh, like me. If you don't, subscribe. And you can uh, watch my videos and downvote them, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I like it. And Pwn, do you want to tell people about your channel? I have no videos on it. I'm almost at 100 subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm like four away. Oh man! All right. Well, let's get let's get Pwn up to 100 subs, guys. It's time. Yeah. And uh, and yeah, that's that's gonna be it for today. So big thanks to uh, you two again for playing. And guys, if you're watching, make sure to check out uh, Black Iron. It's, it's Black Iron and then Space Battles, right? Is how you spell it. Is it's, yeah, Black Iron Battles. Yeah, Battles is a separate word. Okay. okay. Black Iron is one word. Just for searching. Cool. And, and Prof Pwn, you guys can, of course, it's just Prof Pwn, as, as it is in chat. <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah, guys, thanks again. And we'll, we'll see you guys next time. Take it easy, bro. See you guys. Bye. All right, guys. That's it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I mean, we had some fun 2v2 action, all that kind of good stuff. Let me get you guys links to the Discord here before we uh, before we move into that good night. So um, one sec here. I'm going to go to YouTube. Get you guys all that good stuff. But yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for the donations. Hey, no worries, Spider Beast. It's okay, man. But uh, here you go. Discord, Discord link. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I'll go get Wookie real quick to say goodbye on the stream. I know I promised him, so let me go get him for you guys. And then we'll, we'll just sit for a minute, take some questions while we, while we pet him and stuff. Here's Sears Wookie. He's gonna say goodnight to all you guys. You have any closing words for the uh, for the stream, little buddy? He's like getting green screened out. But here's my dog Wookie. He's a pimp. He's old. He's old. He's actually kind of blind in one eye, but he's like a pug. See, no, don't, don't, don't lick me with the. Oh, I don't know where that's been. I don't know where that tongue's been, Wookie. But uh, but yeah, guys. I just wanted to thank you guys for coming on stream today. It was super fun. We had a blast. Um, got best of five. We got some fun two v twos in at the end, which. We're full of memes and everything, and uh, who's going <laughs> to... Uh, what graphic settings? Uh, I think I play on the highest graphic settings, Spider Beast. Uh, Wookie's not a skin wolf. Get that Wookie a bowcaster. Hey, what's up, dude? He is so old, man. You can't really walk anymore. You kind of have to, like, carry him. He can walk, like, short distances and stuff, but it's, it's a little... It's a little, little rough. Um, I'm going to be doing a video soon, like an announcement video for something, and he'll be in it. I thought about just like putting him in a chair behind me and just letting him be a part of the community. Wookie doesn't get access to claws. He doesn't really have much for claws. I mean, he's got a little, got a little talons going on, but they're not, they're not much. You know, he's, 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 he's a lover, not a fighter. Okay, he's, oh, he's getting green screened out. Okay, guys, that's it for today. Thank you guys for joining on the stream. Hopefully you enjoyed the best of five, and, uh, and yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Take care and thanks. God, thank you guys so much. Let me read off the donations again. Make sure I thank you guys. We got Mech Mech Farragan coming in multiple times. Mech Mech again. Mech Mech. Yeah, that's right. It's a little tough for me. Farragan, Adam, uh, Magnum Knights, Dead Spartan, Farragan again, Joe, uh, Joey Molyneux. Uh, Molyneux? Molyneux? I think it was it. Farragan, Well Hung on Dung, and Sprezzo. So thank you guys so much for the fat donations today. It was, uh, it was freaking awesome. So thanks again, guys, and uh, we'll see you next time. Cheers.